like I said, I don't know if they do a time jump or not. Uh, like I said, I don't know. I mean, I don't have, I don't know anything about volume ten and eleven. So, yeah, I mean, also another, another different thing was uh, the scene where they're fighting Robert, Roberta, you know, the soldiers. Um, uh, and as you know, the anime they shot her up how many times, blew her fingers off, shot her in the side, and everything. And uh, they did shoot at her, but there's only suppressive fire in the manga. In the manga, they kept asking the commander, can they return fire? But he never answered them, and they died. And they never even hit her. None of them hit her because of that. None of them shot her because of that, which is interesting. In the anime, she got shot clear as day more than once. But in the manga, she didn't get hit at all. And also, another different thing was Fabiola drew her gun on the commander, like, you know, telling them, you don't tell them what to do, pretty much. And I don't, and that didn't happen. I swear that didn't happen in the anime. I don't think it did. That was different. And, uh, and, then, uh, so what, I guess what, I'm, what I do, what do I think about the ending? Do I, which one is better? The anime ending or the, um, uh, manga ending? I, I don't know. I mean, I, I like how the ending, like I said, I like how the ending of the manga was more clear. It showed that Rock didn't fully, I guess, you know, uh, He's not fully evil. I mean, he's still himself in the end. He just, he will be different, of course. But, well, I mean, he's learning from this. And, yeah, Revy has two. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it makes you think. Because, like I mentioned before, like, after I watched the show, like, I, it stuck with me a long time. I was, the ending was, I, I was confused about it. Like, is Rock evil now? But now I've understand more now. No, he's not. He, he I mean, he definitely, like, the, it's like the, Japan arc, he's learned some stuff, and he's. I think in, I think he's gonna be fine in the in the next arc. He'll, maybe, I mean, he'll have PTSD probably. But uh, other than that, I think he'll be fine. I think Revy will also, you know, realize that he had to do what he had to do, which is what she said at the end, you know, of the anime. So she gets it, you know. Uh, I assume, you know. You know, that scenes that wasn't there where she punched him in the face, I mean, uh, that wasn't, you know, that was, that was weird that wasn't there, but, you know, whatever, I mean. So, it's cool the anime has new scenes, whereas the manga has scenes as well, so, you know, different perspective for each of them. But it shows how faithful, after reading the manga, it shows you how faithful the anime is, seriously. The anime is very faithful to the book, like, very faithful. And they got the most perfect voice actor for Revy on this like, the most perfect voice actor I've ever heard. And, like, a lot of people say, the English voice actor is so much better than the Japanese because, like, the acting is off the chain, man. Like, she she really puts her all into the character, and I love it. It's just so powerful. And really, it'll change her life. You probably think I'm stupid with me saying it. I really mean that. I mean, you, get, you gotta watch this show and read the books. I mean, for real. I guess in this, um... Uh, yeah, man... I didn't regret reading it, all of them. I'm glad I bought all of them. So, yeah. I guess I'll do another video when I read the next two volumes. See, tell y'all what I think about them. All right. See y'all later.